Guys, Netflix has a severe season two problem. Vaughn Jog Vlog. Hey guys, Vaughn Fry here. So I want to let you know that I kind of loosely binge watch stream slash skimmed season two of Sex Education, the provocative British, almost American like Netflix original series, you know, where everybody in the high school is in massive need of counseling that they don't really get. So it's kind of passed on from this virgin kid whose mom is way too all up in the Kama Sutra. Yeah, season one starts off with the best boobs on display that the show can offer, and then we have a little bit more after that. And season two just becomes, uh, hey, where did all the boobs go, right? Because that's the way Netflix does this sort of thing. Hey, we'll entice you guys along with this. Okay, we got you the fan service, right? And now uh, you're sticking around for the story, aren't you? No, 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 not so fast. And what do you mean by story? Because honestly, you can watch the first scene and the last scene of each episode and really not feel out of the loop. Amazingly enough, I watched probably 95% of this skimming forward looking for nudity and pieced together everything in the story. Honestly, no surprises whatsoever. I understood everything. I'm not out of the loop whatsoever. This is another show of Netflix in which the leads hook up with supporting and minor characters padding out an entire season because we know the leads are eventually supposed to get together. Glow did the same shit. Now that Glow is actually getting chopped, we know that season four, we're going to have Ruth and Sam actually get together. It's destined, right? Oh yeah, sure, he's way older, but they're leads. We're supposed to be wanting this, right? We go through all these seasons of waiting for that to happen. And that's the way Netflix shows are ran. Everybody can get their whole season in, no problem. You're not worried about getting chopped mid-season and replaced. And then when you get a second season ordered, you start thinking about how long can you ride this out? What can we do to make a full season of padding in season two? Two, hoping to get some kind of payoff by season three when people still care. Am I the only person who realizes this is a problem? If there were actual stakes, they would need to show us something, progress the story during an actual season. Now you may turn and say, oh, well, Vaughn, look at The Walking Dead. It's padding all over the place. When you have a major hit, your main goal is to work on milking it. What we need are Netflix shows who have something to prove, who are struggling to get that renewal. Large scale properties that people are familiar with are not going to be the answer for Netflix. In the short term, you're going to watch something like The Witcher because maybe you've heard of the game or the books. But Netflix is largely looking for what license is available that they can acquire. They're not really trying to build anything from the inside. They're getting people who kind of failed in Hollywood and are now turning to Netflix. These bigger properties are getting greenlit for multiple seasons before they even air, letting you know that the con is on to milk that audience. Is there a Netflix original series that has a second season actually worth a damn? Let me know in the comments below. So we're at the part of the video where I have to beg you to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell because subscribe doesn't really account to anything other than YouTube might someday send me a plaque.